All right, Allie, so what's next for season three? A whole lot of this. Welcome to Clayquit Sound. Don't save for retirement, live your life while you're alive. <laughs>
uh, and House Springs Cove is a really popular stop on the west coast of Vancouver Island for, for cruisers. Um, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be showing you guys this project both both from land here and also from the water when, when we sail up this way. So. Hey Benjamin, someone asks, what are, so we just got a new transducer, what are our plans for the rest of our electronics? Ah, very ah. good question. Very good question. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm going to win the lottery and <laughs> we'll link our Patreon below. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> no, so the plan is we've been operating without basically any instruments. We've been using our phone as our chart plotter. We've been basically blind. Uh, so <laughs> we're really stoked to have put a transducer in, a new transducer with the Namiya connections and MEA, however you say that, I don't know. We bought a, we bought a Zeus 3 7 inch BNG chart plotter and that's going to be the beginning of bringing Kiana from 1980 to 2021, I think is the year. And so what's next for electronics? Um, well, first we got to set that up. The transducer's in. We got to install the chart plotter now. We got to figure out how that's going to mount. We're going to mount it at the helm. Um, after that, I think the biggest priority would be the wind instrument at the top of the mast. I'd love to have that next. A wind indicator. Um, <laughs> wind indicator. <laughs> after that, I think our priority is either the digital radio with the AIS. We want the transceiver and the responder. It's more expensive, but honestly, I think it's totally worth the money to have both. That would probably be the next thing, and then after that, we'll do. We're gonna do three uh, Triton displays that give you like wind, depth, speed, and all that kind of stuff, so that you don't have to be at the helm to see all that. You can see it from anywhere in the cockpit. We're gonna mount it over the companionway. <coughs> companionway, and then the last thing. Well, two more things actually. Eventually, I'd love to put a, a new radar that connects to all of that, and then the final thing would be another screen, probably a Vulcan Nine, a nine-inch touchscreen that goes at the station, the pilot station on the inside and that everything can connect to everything and you can be anywhere on the boat and either we'll do, we'll either do the Vulcan 9 or we'll just do an iPad that's like removable from the wall. But yeah, that's sort of the longer term plans for Kiana's electronics. We're, we're just stoked to have depth at this point. That's, <laughs> it's, it's super exciting for us. what was the number it would take of subscribers it would take for us to quit our jobs and go sailing and I think if I'm faced with that number I would I would leave my job Ali's uh, number is 15,000 subscribers <laughs> <laughs> mine is significantly lower than Ben's let me tell you but <laughs> um, I, don't, I mean we've talked about this several times I am a person who um, prioritizes living my life over my career and if somebody were to present me with a life opportunity that meant I had to quit my job I would do it as I think everybody else would too so although I don't know if it's the end of my flying career could it be in the future yeah I'm willing to quit my job <laughs> Okay, another question was, do we have radar for the west coast of Vancouver Island? Which is a good question because in the summer months they call it foggest for August because it gets so foggy, usually every morning until about 11 a.m. or 10 a.m. and then the fog burns off. Sometimes in the mornings we're surfing and you can't see more than like just in front of your surfboard, like it's kind of crazy. So radar is a bit of a necessity out here on the west coast. Uh, we do have radar, it's an older Raytheon, came with the boat. We don't really know how to use it, but it does work. So we got a, 
we got to figure that out because I don't want to be caught out in the fog and not know how to use my radar. So we do have it. We do plan to upgrade it to a more modern radar eventually, but in the meantime, we got one that works. So yes, we do. What does your tattoo say, Ali? <laughs> I love this question. Um, my tattoo says there is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path, um, which essentially to me means don't save for retirement, live your life while you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ali's motto. <laughs> um, it, it means focus on, on the getting there rather than just the destination. Uh, I do think it is something that I like to remind myself regularly of. All right, well, since I had to answer it, how about you? What's my number? What's your number in order to, that, of subscribers that you would need in order to quit your job? Yeah, so as Ali alluded to, I think that the, the actual question here is how much YouTube income do we need to make before I can say, you know what, as much as I enjoy what I'm doing and I'm proud of my business and all that, um, that's over and now this is obviously the path forward. You know, it, it is lucrative enough to make it worthwhile to quit my job. And for me, it's kind of a loaded question because I'm a, I'm a business owner, I'm a partner in a business, and I'm, I'm really proud of what we do and what we've built, and, and it's been a really big struggle to get to where we are now. And so, but now it's going really, really well. <laughs> and I also think it's important work. And, and anyway, all this to say, this we're not gonna quit our jobs this season because we're living and working in this amazing West Coast Vancouver Island that we're super stoked to show you guys. And then even after that, we've we've already organized a year off. Like I've agreed to a year off with my business partners, and it's it's out in the open. It's out in the it's it's not. I'm not hiding anything from anybody. And so we've got like three years ahead of us of breaking waves production before we have to actually look at potentially leaving our careers or my career anyway. So so yeah, it's very attainable when you think about it. you guys for watching so much uh it's gonna be a cool season and i'm stoked you guys for you guys to come along with us uh if you haven't already please hit subscribe check out patreon hit that like button all that good stuff uh and thank you to our patrons who have joined us along the way um and this is just a reminder that a portion of all the proceeds that we get from patreon is going to go to rugged coast research society which is a community of people who gather together to clean up the ocean and clean up the beaches and uh help remove ghost fishing gear from the ocean so check out patreon if you haven't already www.patreon.com slash breaking waves sailing and we will see you in the see you at the next episode this episode goes out to our new patrons terra magica adventures brian and crystal at sv clarity simon and sally on sv sizzle sheila mckay Jeremy Holland, and shout out to Darren James for upping your pledge. Thank you guys for coming along with us, and we will see you at the next episode. Welcome to Season 3.